Okay, so you can introduce yourself, please. I'm Nozi. I do the VTech Business and Communication course. Welcome, thank you for coming. So, Navdi, Nav it is Navdi, isn't it? Yes. Can you tell me what interests you about this position, please? I find it interesting because it's something which I look forward to working in, and I have studied to get a job like this. Okay, a job like what? It's okay, so it's an accounting position in an import export textile company. Yeah. I, oh. I, I don't know, but they just said it's a position itself. Okay, okay, that's that's good then. What qualifications do you have that would help you perform this role effectively? Uh, I have done the BTEC business and communication course that I'm studying right now, and I've done my GCSEs in economics. Okay, so you, you have a range of business-related um, qualifications there. What skills do you have outside of the, the classroom? What kind of skills do you have? Computer skills, um, web-based skills, team skills? Um, I'm good in leading a team and even working in a team. Uh, I can use different types of computer softwares and I can operate different computers. Um, I can also... Um, okay, so you're, you're a team player, you're able to work well as part of a team, you're very uh, computer literate, you can use um, a range of different types of computers and a range of different types of software. What do you do in your lessons with Miss Miller? Uh, we do um, multimedia related activities. Projects. We are doing uh, ePortfolio and we are also um, doing projects in Flash. Okay, so can you build websites then? Yes, I you can. You can. Oh, that's that's fine. That'd be very, very useful then. So, we've talked about your qualifications and your skills. As an individual, what would you say your main strengths are? My main strengths are that I can work practically and also. Can meet my deadlines. I can also just put my head down and work, and I get most of my work done on time or earlier. So I try to keep things on tasks, and I can easily work with most people. Okay, so you have a very strong work ethic. You're able to meet deadlines, and you have a, an ability to work very well as part of a team. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, what would you say, um, we've talked about your strengths, so what would you say you find challenging or what would you say you find difficult? Um, my weaknesses would be uh, Okay, we can come back to that one. Um, if I asked your teachers to describe you, what two words do you think they would use to describe you? Cheerful and hardworking, that, well, those are was it, excellent qualities. So why should we employ you in this role? Because I have the qualifications needed for this role, and I have well-suited skills which suit the role for this job. Okay, that's a great answer. So you're cheerful, hardworking, you're able to meet deadlines, and you're a team player. So that, yeah, that, those are, are all excellent, excellent qualities. So, we'll finish off by saying, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask me about the position? Um, about the working hours. What are the working hours? Oh, the working hours of Hong Kong is known globally for having very, very long hours. So as a, a fairly junior um, employee, your working hours would probably be something like 8 a.m. to 8 or 9 p.m. So it's a long day. But that's very much in line with expectations within Hong Kong. But as you rise uh, and become increasingly more senior, then probably your hours will fall and your pay will rise. So that would be very good. Well, thank you very much for coming today. Um, enjoy that. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay.